Hello and welcome to Wine Vault TV, New Zealand's most passionate, passionate, passionate wine program. And um, I do apologise for kind of completely missing last week. Um, just a bit, bit crook. Got a bit of food poisoning from a kind of restaurant, very popular restaurant in town actually, but um, may not have been their food, so I can't really name and shame kind of anybody. But today we are going to talk about Vouvray, and especially this one from Mark Brilliff, and it's the Grandonnet 1988. And the last one was a 1986, and this is just their current release. I'm going to geek it up a bit. Vouvray, 2,000 hectares, kind of um, east, east, that way for you, um, of Touraine, um, and has been under vines since the 5th century. Um, it's a marring of Tours, um, reportedly kind of was the first kind of viticulturalist there and they make or well, the allowed grape varieties in within the AC are Chenin Blanc which is this Arbois which is there's only a tiny little amount but in the red varieties you've got Cabernet Franc and um, Chenin Blanc can be made in a, a, a sec dry kind of style also demi sec just off dry and then Moulieu and is the sweet kind of version now here we have the sec and um, the, uh, if it's anything like the 86, the 86 was stunning. Now the 88, um, pretty damn good year as well. So it's 21 years old, just released, or this is their current release of the Grand Renault. So, you know, it's lasting pretty, pretty long. And um, they also allow a kind of Chenin Blanc, uh, kind of Mousseau, kind of the sparkling kind of varietal. Kind of put under three bars of pressure kind of made fizzy um in a kind of champagne kind of style and uh chenin in the loire is called pinot de loire and um just but chenin belong to the rest of us south africa really renowned for their chenin milton here are doing some chenin very few other people are doing uh, doing chenin um, a few places in australia are doing it but generally still seems to be the loire anyway let's get into it so this is the Ready? 88. And let's see what we've got. Give it a second. Right off the nose, you get this kind of intense, lemony, citrusy, beeswax kind of character on the nose. Mighty appealing, I've got to say. This is really seriously, seriously good. From this, is, this wine is completely over, over delivering. It sits on the shelf about 60 bucks. And it's layered, it's intense, it's complex, it's, it's everything, everything. Um, I've got that kind of citrus character. I've still got a kind of almost a, a waxy kind of character in my mouth. I've got some pears going on. This is sensational, sensational kind of Shannon. Actually, I'm going to score this 95 points. I think it's sensational. For those of you like Shannon, even for those of those of you who kind of who haven't tried that much Shannon and you want to experience and you want a kind of very 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 special bottle of wine this is it um Shannon is kind of like for me it's kind of a bit kind of Pinot Gris meets Chardonnay with a bit of kind of Riesling in the middle um for those of you who have never tasted it before but this is seriously seriously good and I recommend anybody to go out there and get this from anywhere anywhere you can find it go out there and seek this one out um, anyway, that's enough from me and I'll catch you later on Wine Vault TV.